Hi everyone, Snowflake Dan here with you. Today I'm gonna to be showcasing how you can integrate ChatGPT with your Snowflake account so that with a single line of SQL, you can give ChatGPT some data and get that response all within your Snowflake account. So let's get straight to it. So here you'll notice on the page that we have a tutorial. So this tutorial will be linked in the description of the video. Uh, it'll help us walk through uh, some of the code while we're building all of everything inside of our Snowflake account. So the first thing first, we are gonna to wanna to create a database and a schema in a warehouse. Uh, I have a brand new fresh Snowflake account, so this is gonna be required. So we'll simply head over to Snowflake, go to projects, we'll create a new worksheet. So we'll select worksheet, create a new worksheet, and we'll paste that code in there. So here I'll select all of it and click run. And so from there, we've created a database called API, created a schema called functions, and then a warehouse or the compute to accomplish what we need during the tutorial. And if I do a refresh on the left with our databases, we'll see the database called API, the schema called functions. Great, so let's head back to the tutorial. The next thing we'll wanna do is create a network rule, a network rule and an external access. By default, your Snowflake account doesn't have access to anything outside of itself. So we wanna give the ability for our function function later on to be able to have that connectivity. So we'll go back to our Snowflake account. We'll paste in that code. And then we'll notice here, it requires us to put in our open API key. So this will be a secret stored in your Snowflake account. So we'll head over to ChatGPT or really open AI and we'll click the dashboard in the top right hand corner, head over to APIs. And then you'll notice I've got a new demo one here, but we'll simply delete this one and we'll add a new one. So we'll go there, we'll type demo again, we'll click create the secret. And from there, we'll wanna copy our secret. We'll head back to Snowflake and we'll paste that secret in. Great. And then we'll wanna run these three. So this will create a network rule, a secret, and that external access. I almost missed the line, so we'll wanna select all of it. Perfect, so now we've got that integration set up. What we'll wanna do is go down a few lines and switch back to our tutorial. So for the next part, what we'll wanna do is create a function. This is gonna be the easiest way that we can interact with our ChatGPT or really have that kind of conversation between the two because we want it to be a single line of SQL. So we'll copy that code, we'll head back to Snowflake and we'll paste it in. And what this will do, if I wanna run it in the background, is, whoop, I think I missed the comma there, so my apologies. We'll click run. And then we'll notice our function has been created. And we've called it ChatGPT so that it acts as ChatGPT because we're using the ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo uh, model, but you could use whatever model you want that uh, OpenAI has available to you. Great, so for the next part, we'll wanna use that function. And so like I said, it's gonna be a single line of SQL. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more. And then you'll notice here, it's a select statement using the database API, using the schema called function, functions, and then the function called ChatGPT. And so if we refresh on the left-hand side menu, we'll notice we have a function there. So open AI, functions, and then our function ChatGPT. The ChatGPT function takes in, um, in this case, a question or a string, and so we can run that string. And we're gonna ask it how amazing my tutorials are. So if we click in on it, you see, yes, Daniel's tutorials are incredibly helpful. So I hope you all have found this tutorial as well to be helpful as ChatGPT has. Thanks for watching, goodbye.